She and Jennifer were pretty close. Get her in here. I want to talk to her. Jennifer's dead? Yes. I knew something was wrong. How? Jennifer kept a post office box. She didn't want anyone to know where she lived or what she was really doing. I went with her yesterday to get her mail. This guy came up to her. He grabbed her. They argued. About what? I couldn't hear. I was in the car. She pulled away and came back to the car and told me to get her out of there. He chased us for about a block. We lost him. Who was he? All she would say was nobody. Do you know what he looked like? Um, young, tall, red hair. If I set you down with the police artist, do you think that you could describe him? I, I don't know. I'll try, if you want. I like your tie. This? Well, his eyes, they're bigger. Further apart, I think. I found six different sets of fingerprints on the envelope. This is not surprising, considering you got your letter writer, your, your postman, your, your postal worker, your victim. But inside, on the letter itself, only one set of prints, and they're perfect. Jennifer, wherever I look, I see your face. Go to bed at night thinking of you. While I sleep, I dream only of you. Destiny has brought us together. You can't stop it, can't change it. Don't try and deny it. It's you and me forever, and it's not signed. She threw the letter away unopened. She knew what it would say. You had written to her before. That's him. Copied and distributed. Now what? Now we find him. Detective Walker. <laughs> Detective Walker. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I had to talk to you away from Lily. We found the red-headed man. He is not Jennifer's killer, he's Jennifer's brother. Which means that the killer is still out there. He has to be one of Lily's clients. I can't help you. Donna, please, I have to know who Jennifer was with the night she was killed. If Lily found out, I told you. I thought Jennifer was your friend. She was. Then help me. Do you know who the client was? <laughs> 